Well, good morning, and really pleased to be able to join you here at Slush. Now, in the next few minutes, what I want to try to do is to say, how can you take your bright idea, how can you take your venture and make it a truly global business? Now, hopefully the technology will work. Here we go. 25 years ago, if you wanted to go global, if you wanted to work outside your city, outside your country, you probably needed to be a global entrepreneurial firm, maybe a conglomerate. But that's changed because the internet isn't a, a city web, it isn't a country web, it is a worldwide web. And that means that whatever stage you're at, whether you're a startup, whether you're mid-sized looking to go to that next step, you can reach right across the world. But to be truly global, to sustain the quality of service that your customers expect, you need to have the right ecosystem. Now everyone here is talking about what an ecosystem means. For me, it starts with having the right ideas. And of course, that means having the right people in your business. It means making sure that you can access the finance that you need. It means making sure that you've got the kind of support from government that actually helps you and doesn't hold you back. And it also means making sure you are part of the best market you can be in. Now, I would say to you, and you might not be surprised for me to say it, but I think if you're thinking about your business going global, have a think about coming to the UK because we can be your gateway to that global market. What does that mean in practice? We're one of the easiest places in which to start your business, run your business, grow your business. Uh, before I left the real world and went into politics, I used to run my own business. I know, I've been there, I've done it. And what's great is that now, if you come to the UK and you want to register your company, 24 hours is all it takes online. It's just as important that we're able to help you in terms of finance. And London, of course, it isn't a, it isn't a regional finance center. It's a truly global financial center. We have the best air transport system in Europe. We have a flexible labor market with 270 different nationalities. And we have, of course, now the most competitive tax system in the G20. But what else can we offer? What else can we do? Let's talk about some of those ecosystem thoughts. The right ideas. If you look at the 10 best universities in Europe, the top four are in the UK. In fact, if you look at all of the 10, seven of them come from the United Kingdom of Great Britain. And that's one of the reasons why we now have nearly 90 Nobel Prize winners in the scientific disciplines, genuine leaders in their field. And it's why alongside the academic strength in terms of research, we have 100 science parks where you can be part of one of the best clusters available. Now ideas are great, but if you run a tech firm, and as I think most of the conversations around this hall learn, it's about having the right people. Because actually tech firms aren't about the technology, they're about the people who make the technology possible. And that's why we've made sure we have a large, open, flexible labor market. It is a deep, pool of talent that you can be part of and draw from. And it's skilled. We have 2.4 million people currently in higher education, ready to come out, ready to be part of your business. And we have, as many people know, genuine world clusters of the creative sectors. So whether it's in design, whether it's in software, whether it's in uh, film or theater or fashion, we have the clusters of the, of the expertise that you need to take that business to the next stage. People are important, but so is money. I said earlier that London, of course, is a global financial center, and I could run through all sorts of stats that would prove it, but I think for me, it's a question of who's committing what money to which businesses. That is what counts, the bottom line. So if you look at the last full three years, we've seen over 340 tech firms in London gain nearly 1.5 billion pounds. That's a huge step forward. And in the latest year, that's just in nine months, a billion dollars of VC money into real businesses. And those aren't IOUs. Those aren't, mm, maybe later we'll see how you're going. Those are real people investing in real money with real businesses. And government is part of that whole picture. I said it's easy to start a business in the UK. A simple number for you. Last year, 500,000 people started their own business in the UK. 500,000 people. You could be part of that change. 
We have a globally important tax system, and it doesn't just help you as a business entrepreneur, it's really positive for the investors. Now, if you're developing bright ideas, you want to make sure they are robustly protected. We have a robust IP regime. And we have a really strong take up now in super fast broadband. Next year, it'll actually be the best in Europe itself. But for my money, I think one of the most important things having started a business is being able to talk to the right people when you're getting going. UKTI, who are here in the big red bus just across the hall, uh, they are able to provide you with the right business intel and also the right access to the people and to the networks that you need. And the market, perhaps most importantly of all, is one that is really large for you to grow into. So that's why in terms of markets and industries in Europe, we have the largest ICT sector, the largest creative sectors, we are still the second largest aerospace industry in the world, and of course, we have a very strong sector in terms of video games. We're part of a 500 million consumer market, and we have the largest air transport system. So yes, you can be strong in Europe, but you can reach North America, you can reach the Middle East, you can reach the Far East as well. And some predictions are now saying, that by 2030, the United Kingdom will be the largest economy in the European Union. So I have a quite simple question for you. What are you waiting for? If you want to take your venture and make it genuinely global, then make sure that you make your business home Great Britain. And if you're still not quite sure, then let me finish with a very simple short video. Thank you very much.